So you want to learn how to utilize automation inside of BandLab? It can be super helpful when you want to go ahead and balance your vocals. With that being said, keep on watching this video. What's up everybody, Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment tutorial video. Hey, check this out. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as a notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. All right, so what's up guys? Chris Lee back with another video. What I'm gonna be doing in this video is talking to you guys about automation and how you can go ahead and utilize it inside of BandLab. Guys, it's gonna be super helpful when you wanna go ahead and start balancing or leveling some things out, you know, utilizing it for certain things. Maybe you wanna automate uh, a volume effect or a pan effect or something like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to utilize that inside of the software. If you haven't seen my other BandLab playlist, be sure to go check that out so you can learn all the cool features and things that you can utilize inside of BandLab so you can start recording today. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, guys, so check this out. This is something that I started recording inside of BandLab. Check it out. It's a new year for me. Ain't got no time for that fake shit. That smile in your face shit. Make it real clear for me. And that a benefit to cut you off. You got my name up in your mouth. Tell me why you want to use it. Why you do me like that? You're claiming that you fuck with me, but talk behind my back. Okay, so guys, if you wanna go ahead and engage automation for your particular track, let's just say if we went here, so let's go to this particular track. If you go here and you press this button here, all you have to do is hit the A button, okay? So once you hit the A button, this is gonna bring up your automation. Now the automation is gonna be really cool because you may not wanna be trying to push faders and stuff the entire time. So the automation is gonna be really cool and helpful. Say for example, if you have like a vocal take, it's a nice vocal take, but on one part you get a little bit too dynamic and you just want the fader to go ahead and kind of duck that down a little bit or turn that down some. Automation is gonna help you do that so you don't have to worry about trying to push the fader for the entire track. If you don't utilize the automation and you push the fader down or up, it's gonna affect the entire volume of that entire track. But utilizing automation helps you to only do it for that particular portion of the song. And I'm gonna show you, okay? So let's just say we hit A and we go here. And say if I hit the automation button here. If you didn't wanna hear something, for example, so if I click here, you want to go ahead and left click to create like a keyframe. Okay. And then you want to go ahead and click the line again, left click. Boom. Now check this out. I'm going to go ahead and turn this down all the way. So I don't hear anything in the beginning. Okay. So once it comes back up, you're going to hear the volume of that track again. So check it out. You're not going to hear anything right now. Silence. And then it builds up. Okay. So this is gonna help you. This is really cool. Like if you wanna have like a particular effect fade in or the track fade in or fade out or whatever the case may be, this is gonna help you do that, okay? So if I just went ahead and created another one real quick here, I can basically create another one here and just turn this down and check it out. Okay, so that's what you can do as well. If you wanna undo that, just hit Command Z or Control Z, depending on if you're on a PC or a Mac, or you can just go ahead and right click and hit Reset Automation, okay? That's super helpful. Now, if it's something, like I said, that's on a vocal or something like that, then what you can do in a process is just go here and say if uh, I didn't wanna hear, just, just for, for example, right here, this vocal and say if this vocal was just too loud or too dynamic, then all I would have to do is create those points and then I can basically just go ahead and turn that down, okay? So let me just go ahead and grab this here. Say if I wanted to have it duck or something like that, or just go ahead and pull this point here, then check it out. This is new for me. Ain't got no time. So say if that was like an inappropriate word or a cuss word or something like that, 
that'll be one way that you can go ahead and like clean it up. So let me just go ahead and I know it's probably not best to use profanity in the videos, but you know, it is what it is. No time for the fake shit that's smiling in your face shit. So you can do that to go ahead and take like a vocal out completely or whatever, or just duck it down. Now, what if you just wanted to turn like your harmonies down? So check this out. Say if I wanted to turn like this vocal down and I, I didn't want to affect the fader and I only wanted to turn this vocal down. If you only want to turn this vocal down, if you got other vocals on the track, then it's going to be super helpful to go ahead and utilize automation because the automation is only going to turn that vocal down while leaving everything else at its same normal volume. Okay. So if I just go ahead and pull this down here, let's say uh, like negative eight. Okay. Negative 8.2. Check it out. No time for the fake shit that's smiling in your face shit. Make it real clear for me. That sounds a lot better. It sounds a lot more balanced. It's not as loud. Now, if I go over here, this one is back to its normal volume. So this normal volume of this track is negative 4.3. So this is going to be negative 4.3. And this one is going to be negative 8, which I turned it to. Okay, so now if I just hit Command Z. Or like I said, you can just right click, reset automation. Um, I can do this, boom. I can turn it, I can actually turn it, say if I wanted to turn it up some, you can just go ahead and increase it. Smiling in your face, you make it real clear for me. And that's obviously too loud, but you can see that you have that option to do that, okay? Uh, now, so if we went ahead and reset the automation. What you also can do in the process is you can automate different effects. Okay. So say if I wanted to automate the pan. Okay. All right. So I want to go ahead and pan that vocal using automation. So I'm going to switch this to pan and then I'm going to go ahead and create the point. Okay. Boom. Double click, double click, double click. Now I'm going to move this all the way up. And it's going to pan it completely to one side of the ear or one side of that stereo image. If you notice, you can hear it on this side. Now, if I bring it all the way down, then it's going to switch it. So let's just go ahead and do that. <clears throat> or what if you wanted to switch from left ear to right ear? Smiling in your face, she make it real clear. It went from one ear to the other ear, which is a really cool effect that I utilize in R&B music, and it's pretty dope. You can pretty much automate whatever you want inside of the software. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. I also want to know how do you utilize automation inside of your recorded DAW or how do you use automation inside of BandLab? Do you use it for vocals, instrumentation? Uh, do you utilize it for effects, panning, whatever the case may be? I would love to know down in the comment section, but guys, be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Also, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, then I would highly recommend that if you're new here to hit the subscribe button. But if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. Go ahead and go check out my band lab playlist so you can learn more on how to record inside of this software guys as always stay tuned for the next video